All right, everyone, it's Jira Bro, and today we're going to be talking about there are going to be reports in Jira. So this is geared mostly towards Scrum Masters, the uh, product managers, the project managers, basically to see the statuses of their current project. Now what I have done here is actually I have created a uh, sample scrum project that basically you can create in order to have some data in here so you don't have to create every um, every issue. So what is actually going on in here? First of all in the backlog. Right you know for scrum what we actually have is you have a backlog and you have a sprint. Now, in sprint, you actually have all of the issues that you have determined from uh, from doing the sprint backlog. Okay, and what's actually important is everything in the backlog. Actually, you know is in here and when you have something going in the sprint if you go here you will see that in the active sprints you see these issues that are actually in here these numbers right here these are actually the story points and this is actually an estimation technique that is at being used in scrum let's go back to the reports now most of the reports you're going to be using is going to be a burn down chart, right? So with the burn down chart, you actually have uh, the guideline, you have the remaining values, you also have the uh, non working days, and actually, what you actually can see are the story points and how many of the remaining story points are actually there are. And also you have nine remaining story points and all of the other things. So you also have the scope change issue added to the sprint. Right, so when the issue is added to the sprint, there is actually something that is called the scope creep. This is actually something that you really want to avoid when you have your, uh, when you're actually within your um, your scrum project. Then you have like burn up chart it actually represents the visual representation sprints completed work comp compared with its total scope. This is actually pretty interesting thing to have. So you have like work scope right and you like have completed work and it said like work scope of 14 completed work of 6 and track your team's progress towards sprint completion and if I problems related to scope creep right I can hide this hide this info and it says here the sprint has started the issue has been completed the issue has been completed and issue completed and then you have something that says well in here what we have is going to be added added sprint and now work scope so it was like 11 and now it's like 14 because uh, a issue has been added to the sprint and actually this leads to more story points for sprint to complete which actually is not a really good practice because you don't want to have the scope scope creep in there it's bad thing sprint report so all right so you connect ops genie to get the alerts ops genie is actually another product of an atlassian it is is more it's more being used for alerts and like um and stuff like incident response uh, re, uh, incident response and stuff like that I was I'm not really using Ops Genie so I cannot talk much about it right and in here what you also have are the completed issues and as you can see 
how, how much of story points were actually being well completed and then you have like the issues that are not really completed and then you have the issue that is actually in here right and also to track the amount of work completed from sprint to sprint what actually this is is the uh, this help you teams velocity and estimate the work of your team that can be a re realistically achievable in the future sprints as you can see right here this is how it actually is like commitment this is actually a commitment and this was actually how much it was being completed which, which is actually a pretty good thing because you have like 16 completed and this is for the story points and the commitment for was for 18 story points so yeah cumulative flow chart show the statuses of issues over time so this helps you identify protection bottlenecks that need to be investigated so you have some things that were actually being going on this this one is actually done and this one is actually in the progress and these yeah yeah so then you have like ones that are in to do all right so that is the uh, cumulative flow chart you have the version report like what version uh, is uh, being based so what actually this means the release date for the version okay to and this actually helps you to like which version was released on time uh, so yeah and of course the versions that you can actually see is actually here and then you have like this version number three uh, 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 right then you have like uh, ah sorry epic report there are no epics on the board control chart not really using this one epic burn down you don't have anything release were burned down not really been using this as well now if you're actually been practicing the devops you can actually use the devops reports as well average age report right okay so i want to have an, uh, an r1 okay so maximum number of days allowed for this is going to be number 10 so I'm going to choose the number 10 and this is what I get so how many issues were actually being resolved like what is the total age of the issues and as you can see from here it says like unresolved issues and as you can see it goes four, and then this number here varies okay uh created and res uh this is resolved issues right so cumulative to just kind of click on next so this really depends and like i said i'm not a, i'm not the scrum master i'm not the project manager i'm not the project manager so majora admin but uh this these are actually the reports that are going to be used by you know the others who are not really your admins because your admins don't really need this you know uh so yeah these are what these are the reports in Jira. thank you for watching